Hi ladies, this is Carla. Thanks for stopping by today. This is going to be our last episode of our mini series. This is episode seven. And what we're going to make today is a tri-fold little mini album with a little mini tassel hanging on the side. Now what I did, I went out to Scrapbook Generation and I wanted to find something springy and I saw Simple Stories, their new collection that's out this spring and it's called Simple Vintage Cottage Fields. So I picked up some of their layered stickers and then this is Cardabella, but I thought some of their ephemera went with uh, this collection pretty well. They really didn't have any ephemera for the Simple Stories collection. Then I picked up some chipboard stickers, thought I might be able to use those. And the paper collections, ah, they are to die for. Let me tell you, look at this beautiful print. Are these flowers not just gorgeous? And look at this little finch, this little goldfinch, little butterflies in there. And it is double-sided. On the other side, it, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of got like a, a pale kind of rosy peach color in the background with little black polka dots. So I picked up a couple of sheets of those. And then I picked up a couple of sheets of pretty much solid. There's a little bit of a print in there. I got one, one side's kind of a corally color, one's kind of that aqua mint green color. And then the other sides are kind of a beigey peach and then this yellow. And then another sheet I picked up is they have two by two cut aparts. So I picked this sheet up because I thought I might be able to use those on my little trifold mini album. Now this little mini album, it's really pretty neat. I like it. You basically need just one uh, 12 by 12 sheet of paper plus any embellishments or any extras you would want to add. So what I'm going to do is get my things together and then we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take this 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I'm going to cut it into two 4 inch by 12 inch strips. So I've got those already cut, two 4 inches by 12 inches. And then the next strip we're going to cut three inches by 10 inches. So you've got two that are four by 12 and one that is three by 10. And when you do that to a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, you end up with a strip that's about, oh, an inch long. 12 by 12 and then a little piece like this that's all you have left and I use the um, the inch wide one that's 12 inches long for a little belly band so right now this is all I've got left and who knows I may use that on the inside we'll see so first we're going to do uh, we're going to take one of the 4 by 12 pieces and this is going to be my outside so I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to score at three, right here at three, and again at six, and then, I don't know if you can still see that, again at nine. So I've scored at three, six, and nine. And then we're going to do the same thing to the second one. Again, we're going to turn it to this side because with the floral for the front, we're going to score at three, at six, and at nine. Now I'm going to take those up and we're going to take the three by. Sorry about that little break there. I had a phone call. So let's get back to our three inches by 10 inch strip. We're going to score that at three and a half and seven and 
a half. So we're scoring at three and a half and seven and a half on our three by 10 inch piece of paper. Okay, we're finished with that. Move this out of the way. And now we're gonna take the two four by 12 pieces that we've already scored and we're going to fold those So we're gonna come in with the floral over this way. And so this is going to make this for the inside and that will be the outside. So you've got kind of an, an M if you turn it that way. And we're going to do the other one the same way. So let's come over here and we're gonna fold the dotted side up and then the other way and just fold it up like an accordion, like so. And you get another one that kind of looks like an M. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lay this like this. And we're gonna put some glue right inside here and we're going to attach those. I'm gonna put my glue right in here. Right along those edges really well. And down in here. And I'm gonna take this one and just lay it up to that score line. Kind of butt it up to the score line there. Move that like so. Get all that excess glue off. Flip it over. Get off. And now you've got something that looks like this. So what we're going to do now is these two that come together, we're going to glue those together. Now the way we're gonna do that, we're going to only glue the sides and the bottom because we're gonna leave this open to form a pocket at the top. So let's come in here. We've got it like this. I'm gonna pull this out. We're just gonna add glue to the side and to the bottom and to the inside fold. And then we're gonna take it like this and just bring this over. And press that down. Just have to wipe off my excess glue. Got any going on. And then we left it open at the top, so we're going to have a pocket right here. You can see that little pocket that will be right there. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to take it. Here's your flap. Just fold it open. Again, we're going to add some glue only across. Let's make sure we got it turned the right way. We don't want one end open and one end shut. <laughs> Let's come right down the center fold. Cross the bottom and upside. I'm just gonna fold that over. Again, I'm gonna take my little cloth. If there's any excess glue, make sure we get that off. Get that right in the center there. And then you have it like this. And this should be another open pocket, and it is right there. You've got your other open pocket. So now you have something that looks like this. Or like this. Now what I'm going to do, I want to use my Fisker Scallop Punch and 
here it is. I'm going to make my sides scalloped. So I'm going to bring this in here, line that up, and it's out like this. And I'm going to press that down. And I'm going to move it down. I think a little scallop edge will make this really cute. So I'm going to do that and move it on down, line it up. I've had this punch for, gosh, a few years, and I'm not exactly sure where I got it. Um, let's see, one more punch here. Got that lined up. I just seem to miss one little bitty piece and just hope I get it lined back up when I punch it, right? There we go, got it. Okay, then we're gonna do the other side. That would be this side here. We're gonna take this one. are so close I am just going to take my little scissors and just trim that part off. Just going to come right up here like so right over here. Just kind of trim that off a little bit. There. Now we can move this out of the way. we've got it right. This is the top. This is the top. Now what I want to do is on these two uh, little pockets, I'm going to take my scallop punch and I'm going to line that up. Kind of try to center that a little bit. I just think it's a little easier to get to the pockets if we have a little bit of an opening there. That looks pretty good this way a little bit. Oh, those flew. Did you see those? And then we're going to do another little opening here. Just kind of put that in like so. Now, so now we've got... The scallops on the end. We've got our two pockets. We've got little holes punched in those. Next thing we're going to move to is in on the inside. Now the inside, we're going to take the polka dot side and put it down. And we want the short end, the one that was uh, on the three and a half end, we want it to be on the bottom. We're going to glue that on, but before we glue that on, I want to turn this into a pocket. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut diagonally. You can line it up on your uh, scoreboard or paper cutter if you want to, but I think I'm just gonna go and Follow this line right here and just go up to that corner. There we go. And I'm going to put that so when we put this up, we will have a little pocket there. probably wanted to cut it that way, but that's okay. That will work. And then on this end, we're going to put this back in my little scallop punch and scallop that edge. Move it over here. And then line that up. There we have 
have our little scallop punch on that end. See how it's starting to look pretty cute. Then we're going to take this part and we're going to glue it on. Now, we're going to make, create another pocket here. So again, we're only going to add glue. We're going to take this, just flip it over, and we're only adding glue to the sides and the bottom down here. Too much right down here. I'm going to take some of that off there. A little more right there. And we're going to simply lay this right here in between those score lines. We cut this a little bit smaller so it would allow us room to be able to fold but we want to let that dry a little bit before we start folding. There, so now you've got this. Now while that's kind of drying on there, we're gonna to come to this little pocket here. It's kind of gluey there. We're gonna to come to this little pocket. We're gonna add a little glue here, just on the sides. The only place we need glue for that fold that up. So now you've got your little scallop flap that comes here. You've got this little trifold that comes over here. You've got this one that flaps here. And this one that folds here. And this one that folds here. And as you can see, this one, after we trimmed it up, it doesn't completely go all the way over there. So what we're going to do is I made a belly band for this, for the closure. And the belly band I made with, um, like I said, that inch strip that was left. And then I have these, uh, they're called belly band, uh, well, little belly band dies, I guess. They're from um, Crafter's Companion. And, course you have to lay them on to adjust them to get them you know to be the right size of whatever you want them to go around so I <clears throat> excuse me I used the floral piece that was left and then I used that uh, coordinating piece of paper that was kind of this kind of turquoisey color for the dye itself and I cut out the die, and I got it to go. This die for the belly band is, um, this is about nine and a half inches. <coughs> Excuse me, but I had to allow, or maybe it's 10, an inch for these butterflies to hook over. And I'll show you how they work. And this is very delicate. I don't think it would hold together if you didn't put some type of backing on there because uh, the paper just wouldn't be strong enough. In fact, I went ahead and cut out another set for the butterfly and I cut it out and double layered it on there. Now let's lay this here and let's see how that's gonna fit. And look how cute that is. Now, it's still a little bit large, but we haven't put anything inside of our little mini folder yet. So I think when we start filling this up a little bit, it will be perfect to be able to either slip off and on, or you can unhook it in the front with your little butterfly. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to put together some things to decorate it with, and then I'll be back. After I got all my things together and kind of started thinking about how I was going to decorate this, 
I decided it was probably going to make my video way too long, so I went ahead and decorated it, and I'll just take you through it. So this is what it ended up looking like. Okay, I added this little tassel on the side that I made, a little mini tassel, and here's the belly band, and I'm going to tell you, it was really hard not to put a lot of these uh, dimensional stickers and things in there or puff them up because, you know, after doing that with all of my little um, tag flips, I just kind of got used to putting all that extra stuff in there. But anyway, here is this belly band that I had made. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to lie, it is very snug. And I'm just going to try to slide that off of there before I... Um, you know, noticed it. I was adding all these little things on the front and I forgot that I had this little belly band had to go on there, but it's just darling, but it does pull apart like, uh, oh, like this, like this. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, there, it slides apart like that and then we'll slide back together. So on the front, what I did was I took some of these stickers that I told you were new from Simple Stories, and I've also used some of these chipboard pieces that I had shared with you earlier, and I used some of these little cut-aparts and some of the ephemera. Now, here's one of the stickers, and I decided to take this little flap, fold it back. I had made this paper flower, and I have some gold thread, so I just kind of wrapped gold thread around my finger, hot glued it to that little flap. Now, when you open it, you see these flowers kind of poking up here. What I do in my crafting area, I have vases, uh, I probably have three or four vases of just flowers like this, that when I see them on sale or something, I'll pick them up and I just stick them in my vase. It looks like I've got floral arrangements, but they're not, they're just stuck in a vase. And then on the inside, I made this little pocket and you can see it looks like these little flowers are coming out of that pocket. A little more light on there that kind of helps and then here is a die cut from Anna Griffin I just cut that out uh, here's a tag pocket one of those little tags and we open up this side first here's this little tag that I use the ephemera for and like I said I distressed it around the edges because it's just a really stark white and I wanted to make it look oh, a little more creamy I guess and then here are some stickers and little die cuts. And on this flat page, again, some Anna Griffin die cuts. And this is the last page where I just used some of the ephemera, kind of layered that up a little bit. And then if you open this one, then you have this little tag in here. Home is where the flowers grow. You put that in. I used some of that uh, crinkly ribbon or seam binding, I guess, from my scrap cabin and then up here we left this open as you remember for a little pocket and so I added another little tag up there nothing in nature blooms all year so be patient with yourself isn't that the truth sometimes we want things like yesterday and we have to be patient and this little flap folds up this says lovely there's some little eggs in a bird's nest and then uh, this is some ephemera again that went in that little pocket. I have some uh, bees and dragonfly cutouts, dies from um, Anna Griffin. And so that's what that is. So we fold this back down and this folds over. And this is loved. And then on the very back, it says, you are beautiful. So that's how my little mini trifold journal turned out, or album, I guess is what I called it. And I just think it's darling, just darling, darling, darling. So again, it just opens like this. And then this flap opens next. Actually, I think I fold it together like this. I think this is what it is. And then this one comes over. So the front one laps over 
and you get it closed like that. So it's like this, then this, and then this, this, and then the flap in the center. I have so much fun making this, and like I said, this is the last mini in our mini series, and I hope you've enjoyed this. I've had a lot of fun working with this and making these, and then uh, here was the little mini tassel on the side with some charms and beads, and I will tell you how I got this to uh, stay a little more sturdy at the top. I had found this punch. I think I found it at Tuesday morning or maybe Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but it's one of those little ring punches. And I have this gold paper, which is a heavy duty paper. And so I just punched a couple of rings up here at the top to reinforce that. And I put one on each side because I know that paper may not hold real well, but I feel very good about uh, tying that ribbon or seam binding rather onto that reinforced hole with that. So anyway, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and hit the like button. And I want to thank all of my subscribers. I have to say I am so excited. I'm getting close to a thousand and I never would have thought. And I am so excited. And when I get there, I am going to do a great giveaway for my subscribers. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate your comments and it's just so exciting and I just hope you enjoy what I'm doing and that you just continue watching. So until next time, bye bye.